he is the consummate leader, the person you can go to to find a solution, and he won't let anyone say no. I met John Amos and his wife Bonnie years ago, and he's always taken the time to ask me how I'm doing in my recovery, and, and that means a lot to me. I'm sure it does to all the other wounded warriors, wounded warriors he connects with too. General Amos's contribution to post-traumatic stress and um, traumatic brain injury has been absolutely instrumental. Um, he has been singularly focused, uh, like only a Marine can be, um, both as the uh, Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps and as the Commandant of the Marine Corps uh, to ensure that uh, we work these issues and that there be no let up uh, in both promoting the science and finding ways uh, to help uh, Marines and soldiers um, that in fact have these hidden injuries. Imagine uh, the, at that time, the Assistant Commandant of the Marine Corps giving all of his time for two full days to address this one problem in a new and unique way. And at the end of that, th those meetings, they came up with a solution of how to treat our wounded warriors in the field. Uh, I know that General Amos goes to Bethesda every week to talk to wounded warriors there. And I, I remember when I was in the hospital, how inspirational it was for the Commandant of the Marine Corps to come and talk to me. And nowhere in the private sector would you have the CEO of a 200,000 employee corporation come and talk to the worker bees. But that's what General Amos does. Uh, General Amos is uh, one of these absolute leaders who takes on every aspect of it, but he takes on the medical side and the caring for wounded side with such passion that you could call him in the morning, in the evening, and in the very, very early parts of the morning and he'll answer the phone and he'll take that one case that you're calling about as a personal issue with him and he'll drive it home and make it happen. He's a natural born leader. He's a man who commands your respect and friendship and those are unique, special qualities. I think General Amos uh, really missed his call. Uh, there's no doubt in my mind um, that somehow he got sidetracked uh, when he decided to, to fly for the Marine Corps, uh, and uh, he should have uh, been a soldier. I think deep down inside, that's what he was really trying to say to you uh, when he said, I'd be a good Marine. He just wishes he'd been a soldier.